NCIS season 22 needs to pay off the craziest storyline that almost broke the series. NCIS season 21 introduced paranormal elements but narrowly avoided an alien twist in Strange Invaders. The levitating killer turned out to be a powerful AI, highlighting a national security threat. The unresolved storyline from season 21 will likely continue in NCIS season 22, possibly involving the Tony and Ziva spin-off. NCIS season 22 needs to pay off an outlandish storyline that almost broke the entire series. The story began in NCIS season 21, packed with enthralling moments despite a shortened season due to the WGA strike. NCIS season 21 delivered a tribute to the series' most senior cast member at the time, Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard, after David McCallum died at 90. The season also delivered the 1,000th episode of the NCIS franchise. While that would have been more than enough for the 10-episode set, season 21 also introduced paranormal elements to the shared NCIS universe. It's to be determined whether Jessica Knight will be around to weigh in on the case after accepting a promotion in the NCIS season 21 finale. What's also unknown is the status of Special Agent Alden Parker and NCIS director Leon Vance's injuries they received in episodes 7 and 10, respectively. Leon Vance was shot in the back by a sniper in the 1000th episode, and Gary Cole's character almost lost his leg in the season finale. Whoever returns for NCIS season 22 is sure to revisit the supernatural storyline when the procedural commences in the fall. NCIS teased an alien killer in NCIS season 21, Episode 6, Strange Invaders. The major case response team investigated unidentified aerial phenomena. NCIS Season 21 teased that aliens had entered the NCIS universe in Episode 6, Strange Invaders. After authorities found Navy fighter pilot Lt. Elliot Green dead in his home, the MCRT investigated. NCIS teased strange, extraterrestrial circumstances during the investigation. His gunshot wounds looked foreign and contained an element that had no recorded presence on Earth. The team concluded that a levitating killer murdered Lt. Green, who had recently testified before Congress about witnessing an unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP. Torres was even abducted for hours without memory of the occurrence. The narrative of a supernatural culprit was convincing. At one point, Parker even admitted to NCIS director Leon Vance that they suspected aliens. The team experienced strange encounters while investigating the paranormal side of society, and the investigation exceeded their expectations of what a killer looked like. Ultimately, the episode concluded that it wasn't aliens, however, strange invaders went dangerously close to pushing the franchise past a boundary it couldn't retreat from. If aliens existed in the shared NCIS universe, meant to represent actual NCIS agents, it could have dire consequences for the NCIS franchise's credibility. The levitating killer was actually a powerful, untraceable artificial intelligence. Daniel Silcott developed the New Age AI with photos and videos of his son. The story eventually revealed that an autonomous drone was behind the murder of Lt. Elliot Green with NCIS season 21 narrowly avoiding its alien twist. The team eventually got redirected to Daniel Silcott, who created the Drome's AI program with a manufacturer in Sri Lanka. Nestor Quinn, a member of the UAP watch group, even tied the case back to the federal government. Representative Shirley Ives paid Quinn to discredit Green's testimony but didn't murder the pilot. The AI was actually behind the murder, but the team never found the weapons company that developed it and ordered the execution. The team wasn't able to locate the manufacturer who developed the drone. While Daniel Silcott was involved in creating the AI and could access it briefly through a back door to buy the team time, the threat is ultimately impending. The team wasn't able to locate the manufacturer who developed the drone. While the company had previously been in contact with Representative Ives, via her position on the Armed Services Committee. They cut ties after they saw Lt. Green's testimony. While the team ultimately tied the legislator to the case, 
and didn't press her any further on her involvement. She warned them that the threat was more significant than they understood. NCIS left the story ambiguous and has yet to resolve the narrative. The episode's final scene ended in an ambiguous way on CBS. NCIS season 21 left the narrative ambiguous and hasn't resolved it yet, possibly due to a shortened season. The continuing narrative isn't a storytelling device often used by the series, so the conclusion is sure to pay off. The story's resolution is imminent. NCI season 22 will likely revisit the narrative since it will have an average number of episodes, and Daniel Silcott only neutralized the threat briefly. The murderer, a highly intelligent drone that could kill on its own, revealed a significant vulnerability in national security. Representative Ives explained the drone could be a powerful next-generation warfare weapon. Daniel Silcott developed the technology for an unknown company, and neither he nor the team knew who they were. The investigation must continue in NCIS Season 22, or the threat will seem empty. It isn't likely that NCIS will bury this storyline, since the national security of the United States allegedly lies in finding the drone's developer and neutralizing the technology. The unknown weapons company could have a connection to NCIS. Tony and Ziva. Tony and Ziva will deal with an unknown threat to Tony's security firm. Tony and Ziva will deal with an unknown threat to Tony's security firm in NCIS. Tony and Ziva. The threat could have something to do with the internationally based company controlling the AI, which could link the series together for a crossover event. The connection could launch the Tony and Ziva spin-off on the main NCIS series in the fall. NCIS. Tony and Ziva will premiere sometime in the next year, with filming for the series officially underway. The timing is perfect for Tony and Ziva to appear in NCIS season 22 ahead of the NCIS. Tony and Ziva premiere. The Tony and Ziva spin-off will depart from NCIS tradition in many ways, including its official casting update via deadline. The cast shows a trend toward themes of international intelligence, as with Boris, a Russian expat and a brilliant computer hacker. It also features a former French intelligence agent and a former computer programmer with the NSA, now the Secretary General of Interpol. NCIS. Tony and Ziva is breaking franchise tradition by not including a forensics expert, favoring many intelligence officials. It speaks to the nature of the series and how it can tie directly into NCIS Season 22. The NCIS Season 22 story could include the head of the UAP task force, Alden Parker's ex-wife. Terry Polo portrayed Gary Cole's character's ex-wife in NCIS Seasons 19 and 20. NCIS Season 19 introduced Vivian Kolchak as Alden Parker's ex-wife, who worked at the FBI with Parker but resigned after their divorce. She ultimately became the head of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force within the Department of Defense, which concerns itself with UAPs, formerly UFOs. Vivian Kolchak would be the perfect expert to assist the team with the case. Her connection to Parker could unveil more of Parker's compelling backstory, and she already has her footing in the narrative. While the team doesn't require Vivian to investigate actual UAPs, she may have intelligence that connects to the case.